Now the flywheel effect you may have heard of, but some, some very successful businesses like Amazon implement the flywheel. The flywheel just means that as you grow as a business and some of that scale benefit uh, grows through time, you'd pass that on to clients either by cost reductions or added value in terms of services, which drives more customers uh, to Amazon and then increases their efficiencies and they pass that on in price reductions and more value added services. So at Elson we've done the same thing over a number of years we've always implemented the flywheel. So in, the, in Elston Private Wealth there's a number of things that we've done as that business has grown substantially through time uh, to pass on those efficiencies to clients, either fee reduction, so we introduce tiered services, we introduce family pricing for family grouping, uh, we introduce customised fee services, so clients can select and choose the services they want and have flexibility of the fee structures they have. We also subsidise SMSF costs. And in terms of adding additional value for clients, we've recently launched philanthropic services and not-for-profit services for our clients as well. So they can start thinking about the next generation, what they want to do for their, for what's going to be their legacy, as well as the Qantas Frequent Flyer program. We're the only wealth firm in Australia to be part of the Qantas Frequent Flyer program as a really a, a great way for us to reward the loyalty that our Elston Private Wealth clients have shown over the years. Now, if we think of the flywheel effect, whether it be adding more services, adding more value for clients in private wealth, or it's been reducing fees over time, uh, we think we'll continue to use that flywheel ultimately to reinvest in the business and reinvest back into clients.